No, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is too insane. I love your hair. Thank you. We, got we are not ready. <laughs> I said we're not ready, but we'd love to do it. But we're Why not ready. Why not? Wow. That's, that's huge. That's crazy. Good to see you, Biata. Good to see you, two Yes, oh. How are you? I'm great. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. This morning I had some footage and work to do for a digital commercial. Very exciting. Really decided to just go all out <laughs> and try to get really cute, fancy shots of the product and stuff. I love doing anything that like takes me a little bit outside of what my regular normal content looks like and be able to just challenge myself in different ways. So I loved doing this. I love Sundays. They're my favorite day of the week. I get a new weekly overview and I get to write out different priorities and habits and all that lame stuff. I'm excited for today specifically because I have another goal review, which is like my favorite thing about this. At the beginning of the journal, it asks you to write down three major goals and then every four weeks you do a checkpoint. You fill in your top three achievements for the past four weeks obstacles, next steps, and I've been loving it. It's like keeping me on my toes, I guess. I feel like I need to cut my hair only so that if it's better in clips. It's like the only way I've been wearing my hair at home. Anytime I include a clip, either like a self tape blooper or me working on sides and memorizing them, I get questions from you guys asking about like my relationship with acting or what's the deal with it. When I first started, I was just like, let's go, let's do it, I wanna do it all. And probably thought that I was gonna do it all. I'm no longer relying on it. And I've also become a little more specific and intentional with what I choose to self tape. Features are great because no matter where you're shooting, it's temporary, but if you you book a show like Riverdale or somewhere that let's say shoots in Vancouver or shoots in Atlanta or somewhere in a state that you know isn't your own then you're pretty much like picking up your whole life and moving there to be on that show for however many seasons it runs for that's the thing that I've become less interested in and I think I realized that like maybe last year no the year before? I don't even know. I am such a homebody and I love my life here and I love my routine here. What I'm saying is I no longer give acting that pressure or that expectation because it's so out of your control that I'm sort of like, it's tough because so you could put so much into it and ultimately if there is just one specific reason why you're not chosen, it's great that you went into the room and you made those relationships and that is definitely a big thing of course and like for two years I did it I was going to classes I was coaching I was doing I was going in for everything and it was like the most stressful period of my life because that was around the time that I dropped the Nordstrom BP collaboration and that was just crazy and that's when I realized like oh my god wait a second I'm going in for all these things that I don't even care about right now I am just going to record the other characters lines so that I can practice by myself so I I think we're just gonna do it tonight. I filmed the second scene like two days ago. For this scene, please look at the camera and tell a story about a time in your life when you were uncomfortable, embarrassed, or ashamed of something as though you were speaking with a close friend. That was definitely the first time I've ever had to do anything like that. Did it one time, watched it over once, and I'm just sort of like gonna close my eyes and send it. It's funny how you can make or create or say the most vulnerable words in your experience, knowing that someone you've never met will either fully not choose to watch it or they're gonna watch it and know this about you. It was very strange, but also there's comfort in that. Speaking of opening up and being vulnerable with others, today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your very own licensed professional therapist. So this is not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional 
counseling done securely online. You can start communicating in just under 48 hours. It's available worldwide and you can log in at any time to message your counselor. Their counselor network reaches experts far beyond and outside of just what's locally available to you. So you're gonna get timely and thoughtful responses and you can also set up weekly sessions if you want, whether that be video or on the phone. The point is you no longer have to wait and sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. BetterHelp is also more affordable than traditional counseling. Financial aid is also available. And if there's any reason you want to switch out your counselor and try someone else, they make it super easy and free of charge. If you want to join the over 1 million people that are taking charge of their mental health right now with the help of an experienced professional, all you have to do is visit betterhelp.com slash Claudia, because of course we have a little special promo. If you want to get 10% off of your first month, all you have to do is go to betterhelp.com slash Claudia. That's better H-E-L-P. And once again, thank you for sponsoring today's video. This outfit, this fit, this look, my painting fit. today but I love it I spent all of yesterday painting not all of yesterday but definitely hours and then Phineas and I just went crazy on the guest room can't wait to show you guys what it looks like because we finally have a vision and it's actually a, a room now don't mind the terrible mess that is my office right now this wall right here is completely finished I've been using just like a nine inch roller and a handheld brush to paint my walls the edge at the top has been the trickiest because I'm hand painting it. Also this paint is really translucent, so I've been having to add three coats to each wall but this back one is done which is very exciting. This one is looking pretty good as well. I just have to fix up the top. You can tell it's uh, not perfected. If anyone is wondering why I'm doing this myself, it's literally for this very reason. Like I, I would rather just move shit around to be able to do one wall at a time instead of paying someone to have to take everything out of this room, cover it up, all that stuff. Like, as you can tell, I'm just going through this day by day and I'm totally fine with it. Are you guys ready? Oh my God, how cute is this? <laughs> God, I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know if I ever discussed this rug with you guys, but we originally had this in our dining room. It was way too yellow, way too playful for the room. So we switched it out with a different rug. This one is so perfect as a little guest room rug. I just think it's so cute. I got this bookcase from PB Teen. I color coded the books. I think it just looks way more intentional and chic and a little more sophisticated, I guess. On this shelf, we have this adorable little alleyway that I got Phineas, I think for Christmas last year, I don't remember. Let me turn this on. It's so freaking cute. And there's like a mirror in there, so it looks like it just goes on forever. But uh, yeah. <laughs> if you guys remember the paint swatch dilemma, the two on the right, I purchased cans of because we're either gonna go with the dark pink and make this whole room dark pink and then make the bathroom light pink or if we want the lighter one we're gonna make the bathroom darker so either way we're gonna use both of them this bathroom is definitely not worked on and it's being used as a storage closet but I just got this cute little basket from West Elm to hold all of my paper backdrops and the stand that I'm able to like take apart and put in here, which is awesome. But yeah, I think this looks so cute. Eventually we're gonna have like a larger quilt blanket situation, but we like the idea of like getting a yellow or gold one. These pillows Phineas got me for my birthday and I just think they are so cute just from like a local shop finally have some storage going on back there this is a very cute little table that has too many things on it right now but this was one of our christmas gifts from billy which is so beautiful it's like this little foldable gucci table talk about matching the vibes of this room unbelievable one last thing on the paints like i love that one but the only reason i might be scared of the dark pink is because whatever we paint the walls we're also going to have to paint the ceilings that color because if you look up close 
close. There are no creases or corners in this room. Like everything is super rounded. So the ceiling will also have to be the same color. And that's why I feel like it should be that like sort of dusty pink one. There's another angle. See, it's tough because it's just so dark, but the color is so beautiful. I don't know. Will it make this room feel too dark and small? Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about where the podcast is. We bought a house with me and Phineas. We started it back in March or February of last year. For the most part, so much fun for us to do, to just sit down for an hour and talk about whatever we wanted to. And it was so exciting being able to connect with you guys on a level that I feel is the closest I've ever personally gone in terms of like sharing, I don't know, my personality and my thoughts and everything online. I posted about this on my Instagram story maybe like two months ago or a month ago or something. I don't know how long it's been, but we unfortunately have decided to take, we're calling it an indefinite break. It's no longer something that we want to consistently do. It just wasn't sustainable for us and for the world right now and the fact that every single week just feels the same and also the format and style in which we were doing it just isn't sustainable for us. That doesn't mean that we're never ever gonna go back on the mic. The issue and troubles that we kept bumping into were the fact that the format of our podcast was so flexible and there was no structure to it and in some ways that felt very freeing and I know for Phineas that was like the only way that he wanted to do it because we were thinking like okay well what if we had like a topic or a theme each week and that just felt a little bit too not rehearsed but like a little bit too calculated for our style and our taste and kind of attitude towards the podcast and so I think when you're trying to create this spontaneity and excitement every single week when days are just going by so fast in this pandemic. From the beginning, we always knew it wasn't going to be something that we wanted to feel uh, held down to or stuck with in terms of like signing a contract where there's episode guarantees and all these things and I think that made it really enjoyable for us because we were able to you know miss a week here and there and talk about whatever we wanted to. It's hard finding that balance of wanting to do something super off the cuff and something super natural and authentic and organic and also making sure that we're delivering content for you guys that's that's quality and not just a waste of time to listen to and towards the end we really felt like a lot of our episodes felt unrepresentative to us and like what we talk about because since we live with each other it's like we're talking about all these things every single day and then we're on the mic just like repeating the same conversations because we can't think of anything else to talk about and of course it's really sad saying all this because we enjoyed so many of those episodes and I'm so glad we have them to look back on or listen back on because we definitely shared some very very funny stories on there and for those of you guys who listen Listen to our episodes every single week. I loved seeing all of your tagged stories and your tweets. For that, I want to say thank you and also thank you for understanding our decision and our choice. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I just love vlogging for you guys, so I this is, this is a fun video for me. <laughs> all right, I love you guys. Bye!